everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Jessica and today I'm sick again it's like I got over being sick and then all of a sudden I got sick again so I'm sure it's my kids that have brought more funk home from different areas and I apologize for the voice but what are you gonna do when you got three little kids in school you're gonna get sick all right enough about that <laughs> I am here to talk about the overwhelming amount of PR I've gotten in the past week or two um, normally I just will put a, a random piece here or there in with another video, but I've got a lot and I figured I'm just going to put it all in one video and, um, we're going to get to it. Um, some of it, <laughs> I'm not sure what to think about and uh, I'd like to ask your opinions on some things, but before we get into those crazy things, I'm going to get into some of the stuff that I really, really like, um, Starting off with what I just finished using. Yes, my hair is still a little wet. Um, Finesse and Brandbacker sent me the Restore and Strengthen Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner. And I have been using this lately. And a lot of people have actually been commenting on my hair lately, how it's been looking better. And um, if I still have the picture on my computer, I will insert it here of... Um, one of the days that I used this, well, like I used it the day before, but then I curled my ends and it was just like so full and a lot of people commented on my hair that day. And this is what I have been using, the Finesse Shampoo and Conditioner, and this is the moisturizing variety. I used um, like their deep conditioning hair mask conditioner kind of thing last year and I really liked it a whole lot. And I like these too. They're not quite as heavy as that mask, obviously, because this is like a daily kind of shampoo and conditioner, but they're really good. I do like them. They smell good. I can't smell them right now though, but they do smell really good. And let me see, you can get these in Walgreens and Rite Aid and HEB, Meyer, Ralph's, Stater or Statter Brothers, I'm not sure, ShopRite, Public, Safeway, and Vons. And, um, I believe you can also get these at walgreens.com and Amazon. So those are some amazing shampoos and conditioners. I will tell you they are not Curly Girl approved, um, but you know I don't fully follow the Curly Girl method. I do, um, I have switched up some things, but I'm, I'm probably never gonna fully follow the Curly Girl method, but um, these are really good. If you want like a good quality um, hair care system, that is affordable, the finesse is really nice. It's a lot of moisture, so if, if you have dry hair like me, you're gonna like that. All right, another one that I absolutely love, and I have um, have gotten these before, and I will continue to get them. I, I, I can't say enough good stuff about this, and I know Nona uses this too. I think she just finished one. This is the Lipsil Lip Balm. This, they just sent me two new ones. But this is the one that I've had in my purse. Um, I had another one that I've already used up. Love these. First of all, I like that it is wide. So even when my kids want to use it and they do that, you can, you can get in there because of how wide it is and how slim at the same time. Look at this. Look at how cute this is. How it slides up and then you slide it down and you can actually pop it into place. It's awesome. None of that, it won't roll up, it won't roll back. It, you just slide up this little bumblebee right here. Hopefully it will focus on that bumblebee. And you can just push it right up. I, I love it. It's minty, and you guys know, um, like I'm a buxom girl because I like that minty tingle. This one has it a little bit. It, I believe it has peppermint oil in it. Um, yes, I think it does. I can't there's too many words on this page right at the moment, but, um, it's got shea butter, um, let's see, coconut oil. It, it's just, it's really, really good. Um, I had been looking for something to replace the, um, fresh sugar lip balms or lip treatments or whatever, because I don't think that they're very affordable. This, this is really good. If you like those, it's not quite as soft as those, which in, in my opinion is good because it doesn't like bend and melt really quick, especially in the warm months, but it is super like emollient and moisturizing for your lips. And, and like I said, it has just the, 
tiniest bit of tingle because of the mint, but um, it it's not um, intense like the Buxom is. So if you shy away from Buxom because of the super intense tingle, this just is barely a hint of it. So this stuff is so good. It is so good. I'm going to put this back in my purse. And um, these are my backups because I love these. And I, I totally recommend them. I, I can't recommend them enough. I, I will buy them with my own money, even if they don't send them to me. That's how much I like them. And let me see where they sent, um, where they sell these. At Walmart and Meyer and Walmart.com is where you can find these. So um, I had to look at the literature that they sent me because I knew Walmart had them. I just, I don't have a Meyer in my area. Um, I think that's a upper Midwest thing. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. We don't have those around here. Um, all right, another thing that I want to show you. I, I like it, and I'm disappointed at the same time. I, I'm, I'm frustrated, I guess. Um, I got a bentonite clay, like a pound of bentonite clay, which you can use for so many things. Some, some people use it to brush their teeth. It's supposed to be whitening, and um, it, it's good for your, your teeth and your gums. I won't put it in my mouth just because I'm weird about stuff like that. I don't even like charcoal stuff, but um, it's good for your skin, your hair. I mean, you can use bentonite clay in so many varieties. And y'all know I'm into my like DIY skincare and different things like that. It kind of goes along with my whole frankening thing. And um, I, I love doing stuff like that. And the bentonite clay has so many good properties to it to make your own masks. Um, for oily girls like me that have like acne or breakout prone skin. Um, it, it's amazing. You can mix it with um, kale and clay, argan oil and peppermint to make like a really refreshing mask and it like sucks all the gunk out of your pores, which is, it's beautiful. And I'm gonna show it to you and this is why I'm disappointed. Do you see how messy this is? Like, um, and this is how it arrived to me. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take the paper out because that's got my address on it, but um, can you see all of the, the clay that's in the bottom here? That's how it arrived to me. The lid was not screwed on tight and um, it was kind of like partially opened and um, it leaked out all in the packaging. And um, pardon me, I did contact the company. And I, um, I explained to them that it was kind of a mess when I got it. They wanted me to send pictures and I was getting ready to take the pictures. And then, um, another message came through. Don't worry about taking pictures. We're going to send you a new product. Well, that was a little over three weeks ago and I have not seen the replacement product. I don't like to show you guys this mess. This is, this is not the way I like to do my reviews. You guys know that I like to keep things classy and, and, like clean and you know I, I want it to look nice but um I was very disappointed that they said they were going to send me a replacement for the sake of you know showing you guys because I have to put this on Instagram as well um and I'm disappointed that the company didn't follow through with that and I don't know if it was a miscommunication with someone on their end but um I'm very disappointed in that portion. I, I don't know if it was customer service or their PR people or, or what, but um, yeah, it was very disappointing to me, especially since it's such a good product. It really is. Um, and one of the things that I like about it is it's so versatile and um, it's just, it's a mess. I apologize for that, but um, it is so versatile. You can scoop a little bit of this out. Let me finish prying this open. Um, you can just scoop a little bit of this out and put it in a container and travel with it. And um, you can add your your liquids to make your paste or however you want to use it um, for any part of your body, pretty much. Um, it's very travel friendly if you have a little container to put it in. You don't need to take this big container with you. And um, you can, it's one of those, especially people that are minimalists or like to have multitasking products where they can use it um, for multiple places on their body. This is the perfect product for that. So um, I, I kind of feel conflicted about this one because the product itself is really good. 
I just, I'm disappointed with the PR. So um, I'm gonna put that off to the side. I should have brought something in to wipe my hands off on. I'll just grab a tissue here because my desk is covered in clay right now. All right, let's move on to the next thing. Um, this one is not technically beauty related, but healthy is beauty, right? Health is beauty. Um, this I got through Influencer. Um, this is the launch box. I think this, this was just kind of like that extra thing that they sent. It is actually for, um, it's like grown up Lunchables. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, they're frozen sandwiches. They gave me this coupon here and they have, what varieties do they have? Kickin' Cheddar and Ham. They have Slammin' Ham and Colby, Poppin' Pepperoni and Jack, and Jumpin' Turkey Jack sandwiches. And um, can you see what they look like right there? I kinda wanna do these because my kids would probably love these. And they're in your freezer section. And look at this box that they sent me. How cool is this? You can put your sandwich up top here. If I can pry it open. Oh, it's got a little thing. You can put the sandwich up top. You can put chips and other snacks down in the bottom. I thought this was super duper cool. And that is going in my son's lunchbox as soon as I wash it and get all the clay off of it. But I had to share that on here. Um, and Influencer doesn't even require that you do like YouTube or anything like that. I just thought it was really cool and I wanted to share it with you because, you know, I'm a nerd like that. I like little things like that. And I don't know about you guys, but I am into um, like containers and meal prep and that kind of stuff. So that little lunch launch box, as they call it, I thought was awesome. So I had to share it with you. All right, I've got two more products that I'm going to show you really quick. Um, <laughs> this one I almost wasn't going to show you because um, if you remember back when I was getting people bugging me about a product that they wanted me to review and they kept leaving messages like email messages before I ever got the product and they started leaving comments on my videos and stuff like that which is funny because you guys really rallied and um, were like go away troll and stuff like that uh, I thought that was awesome but I almost wasn't going to review this product but it's actually a good product so I'm, I'm going to share it with you and not because of the company but because I think it's a good product and um, I like using it and when you're you're a little bit more mature and you want to take care of your skin a little bit better I think sometimes there are certain things that you should do and um, I've started doing this along with like the exuviance peel that I showed you guys last week and I've had a lot of comments that my skin has been looking better and this is part of the reason why this is like um, a micro needle derma roller this is what the box looks like and they actually give you two different kinds they have the 0.5 millimeter and the 0.25 millimeter I was scared to death to try this at first I really was I'm gonna pull out the 0.5 I was really scared because I mean they're little needles that go on your face which in and of itself sounds really scary but it doesn't hurt. Um, once I tried it, I'm like, that doesn't hurt at all. But it really helps um, if you're using good serums and stuff like that and um, good treatments. Um, if you use that in the proper way, it really gets that um, product to penetrate your skin and it helps to rejuvenate your skin. And um, it works. It really does work. And um, whether you get this brand or not, which, which this is Zeshin is the brand it comes from Amazon um, I, I would recommend trying a um, derma roller the, the micro needle micro needle derma roller because they have the other ones that are like the the jade and the rose quartz and stuff like that um, I have not tried that yet but I, I might I'm kind of interested in that but the um, micro needle um, I'm gonna recommend that one um, like I said, whether you get this brand or another brand, I think um, as we get those fine lines and we get texture and that kind of stuff, I think it really helps. And if I remember, I am going to link um, Ella's for Living down below her specific video on um, her experience using um, Microneedle Derma Roller, how to use it and everything. She goes really in depth. She's very thorough and um, 
if you're interested in trying something like this, I think you really should watch her video because she knows her stuff. She is really good with um, her skincare and everything else. And I think you would appreciate it if that's something that you're interested in. All right, last product. I feel like I'm, I'm covered in clay here. This one, this is Wake Up and Makeup. <sighs> this one frustrated me and this is why I have not reviewed it until now. And I'm putting this out here to get your help. <laughs> um, these are magnetic lashes, if I can open them. And I, uh, I wanted to absolutely love these. I saw um, Zelma did these and I just, I'm having a hard time with them. They have upper and lower, I apologize for the mirror. They have upper and lower lashes and um, they kind of magnetize above and below your natural lashes and that's how they stay on. There's no glue or anything like that. And honest to God, I couldn't get them to work. I wanted to, I tried so many times, I actually lost a couple little pieces because they, they're so tiny and I'm so uncoordinated <laughs> that um, they just kind of, I don't know where they went. And I have dark green carpet and they just kind of blended in. I'm sure they've since been vacuumed up and I, I can't make them work and I want to because this company was so nice to send these to me and they, you know, they sent me videos and stuff to um, watch how other people do it. And I'm just that uncoordinated with lashes. I don't wear lashes frequently. I mean, they even gave me these like cute little like things to help me with it. I feel very incompetent <laughs> trying to put these on. If you've used these type of lashes, please in the comments, give me your tips and tricks. I I've watched Selma do it and I still can't do it. Um, there's gotta be a trick to it that I'm missing. So if you have a trick, please tell me down below. I am going to link um, them down. I'm going to link everyone if I can find links for them down below. Not affiliate links at all, but um, I'm going to link them down below just as a courtesy if there's anything that you're interested, like the good, the bad, the ugly. And please, please, if you know how to use these lashes, teach me. I, I am your student. I will be your grasshopper. I just, I need to know how to use them because they're so cool looking and I want to use them, and I can't. <laughs> and it's frustrating. It is frustrating. So teach me. Teach me your ways, a wise one. All right, I am going to wrap this up. I have got to um, got to clean up this mess so my husband can use his, his desk, my desk, so he can study for his upcoming exam. And, um, yeah, I am going to just wrap this up. If you've got any questions about any of these products, just put that down below with all your tips on how to use these magnetic lashes. And I think... I think that is it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.